Hi guys, I'm Blind and this is the TLDR TWAB for the 8th of October. First up, more stuff is going into the Destiny Content Vault, the Tangled Shore, Forsaken Campaign and Year 4 Seasonal Content will be entering the DCV in February 2022. Starting December 7th, the Forsaken Campaign will be free to play until it enters the DCV and some activities like the Dreaming City Destination and Battlegrounds will stay. A link in the description is for the full article should you wish to read it. Here's a cheeky preview of what's coming in the Festival of the Lost. This show will be available during the event and with the launch of a Festival of the Lost and the update that's coming, Grandmaster Nightfalls are going to have an increase in their rewards. The Platinum Reward Nightfall weapon is now going to drop with a 100% guarantee. In the Corrupt Strike, the Knotback effect is going to be reduced to 20% from 40, and a very missable, unstoppable Phalanx Champion is going to be removed when you're teleported between the Ascendant Realm and Knot. You'll now get a notification for Bungie friend requests when you have multiple when you log online. The player search UI now has an audio feedback, and there are multiple bug fixes, including text chat auto hiding, fire team members getting booted, online rosters not displaying properly, team players getting blocked invites, and a full list of these patterns will be available on Tuesday around 10 a.m. Pacific. On screen now is a list of the update times that are going to go live. A couple of the issues that are going to be highlighted during this update are going to be that the horrors least will no longer drop at zero power, the bombardiers will be working properly against supers. Crashes will no longer be expected in the appearance customization menu. Tether Time Nightfall Triumph can now be earned as intended. The Corrupted Nightfall will get a fix. The Wayfinder's Compass Inventory will now rotate with each daily reset. And finally some known issues. The Nothing Manacles aren't working properly. The Wayfinder's Voyage when it gets abandoned is impossible to re-attain. Lore messages are taking a long time to appear in the helm properly. Players should purchase the Astral Achievement upgrade for step 42 of 53 of the Wayfinder's Voyage quest. Certain ghost mods aren't working properly. The Cottontail Shell is not displaying the correct colour for its ears. There are only four daily bounties in Spider's inventory, but the quest requires five. And some bows are turning invisible. 